All right, welcome back to another episode of Metaphor. Last time we left off, we fought at Zorbus's plan, and now we've got six days free time to spend to do whatever we want until the next big thing happens. So right now, I'm just trying to figure out like, the best course of action to take right here. And I believe the best thing to do... Hmm... Why isn't it showing right. a labyrinth anymore? Accepting a bounce is not a bad idea. Plus it looks like none of the soldiers from the recruitment interview are here. If anyone gets suspicious, we can fake it by mentioning Hulkenberg. Okay, but I'm not here for that right now. I'm still considering what them doors in the basement of the labyrinth that we couldn't open. Hmm... Maybe later we can go back in there, but right now I don't really see anything we can do. Because we didn't really get like a key to open them doors, as far as I could tell. Uh... Maybe? I don't know. But if that's the case then, you know. We did lose quite a bit of progress. Like, we didn't do any alternate saves at all. So we'd be all the way back up the lake corridor. Um, oh, that's kind of annoying. Hmm. You know what? We're going to leave it. I don't want to go back and do that progress again. Maybe one of them keys does open them doors at the bottom. I'm not too sure. I'll find out some new game plus, maybe. Right now, I'm good. Uh, uh, the captain's gone. The grand computer's a mess. My wake keeps piling up. Hmm? What, you're here for the bounty? You so sure? Have a look. I accept the bounty request at the recruitment center. These targets are very powerful, but you're rewarded in kind. Bounty requests are added over time, so don't forget to check back. It's good to find out. Maybe I was worrying too much. Each of these bounties are quite formidable. I wouldn't take the one unless you're really sure you're prepared. Hmm. You said the money to the manager in the Tradia Desert, south of Grand Trad. I'm informed that the host only being in Grand Trad should have more details. Huh? 10,000 Reef just to defeat this monster. I guess you must really be struggling with it. What you want. This one caught your attention. It's a request to slay a Manita Manjula that's said to appear in the desert south of Grand Trad. Even though it has the run of a desert, it usually hides in its entourage of wild dogs. Take out enough wild dogs and it'll show itself eventually. I'm not very shorthand as this one's been difficult to handle. Still want the contract? Yeah, I'll take it. Can you break for someone so young? Okay, it's all yours. Let's get to the desert, go through the large gate south of Sun Lumia Street. After you walk a bit, you'll find it. Also, your beasts aren't your only concerns out there. You're into a sore sandworms if you're unlucky, so beware. As for the details, we're too understaffed to give you much, so go ask an informant. That bunch just rubs me the wrong way, though. If you do so, how manage to sleep a man I bring back the rampage of tales evidence. Good luck. I'm trying to get yourself killed out there. Let's do it. All right. No deadline. Increases courage. That's very nice. Um. Going to. All right, that's everything here. Time to leave. Oh, but well, there we go. So, I think our best course of action is potentially to hang out with our followers to increase our ranks with them. Um, and then maybe go take care of the desert. And then in the meantime, I would upgrade in our follower ranks. There might be even more bounties added to the list. So that's also something to be taken into consideration. Um, one second though, I am just taking care of something real quick. Shouldn't take long. Almost done. Almost done indeed. Five, four, three, two, one, and taken care of. Scammer gets scammed. Um, let's see. Hmm. It's 
Spend time with Vegeta. You can do that. I guess you can, since it's there. Uh, wait, hold on. Vegeta? Ow. Maybe... I don't know how they got that as an option, because I don't. Hmm. Doesn't look like we can increase our rank with them right now, though. Maybe we get a request. Uh, rank 2 gives us what? That's pretty good. And then what does this get? Alright, they're both really good. Let's go do these. I not really fine with this. Let's go talk to them. We can use up our two time slots, maybe. Just increasing our ranks with our followers. Yeah. Ah, uh, it's you. Staying put like this puts the day of calamity in mind for me. I have an interesting room out of Grand Trad. I thought I might walk the streets to see what comes Aye. of it. If you're not too bad, would you care to join me? Sure, why not? All right. Now let's be off. I've heard tell that there's some drifters who occasionally show up on this road here. I can't help but wonder if maybe they're the people I've been looking for. Grand Trad is so full of novelty. I still can't get used to all the clamour, though. In Harley, at the time when I grew up, you could hear a pin drop by comparison. There was still the bustle of friendship and commerce, but... but that's... Young Master Liam, it couldn't be. Uh, I know that voice. Rangif? Rangif, is that truly you? You made it out safely. Wow. Oh, Young Master Liam, my goodness, look how you've grown. Friend of yours? Oh, hold on. Truth is... He saved my... He saved House Haliatus. When our house still stood, I never imagined I'd see him again, much less here. Rangif. This is Alucard. He's a friend I've recently begun travelling with. However... Forgive me for saying, time has not been kind to your frame, old friend. Are you eating well? And how are the others? That's... After the human attack, the survivors fled to the capital. No one could make a living among the ruins in Halia, much less restore it. Most arrived here with only the clothes on their backs, their livelihoods were destroyed, and without shelter from the rain, more than a few have faded away. I... Now, then let me help. Let me find you housing. Well, I would have had the means. All I have left of my nobility is in name alone. I'm so sorry. Wow. Your kindness is more than I could ask for, young master. I've always said you got your heart from your parents. The only reason we're alive here today is because your parents had us evacuate to the capital. Mm. You mean to say my parents instructed to flee here? All well, the more reason then I have to help somehow. Uh, let's... We can build some houses. I guess we've got some houses to build. A bright idea if I had the funds. So I have any idea how expensive land in the capital is? Oh, so you got to pick the right dialogue options too? to get bonuses out. Wait, no, that just gives us mag, right? Yeah, that's just using mag in this one. I remember reading for the tutorial about it now. Who holds authority over the area you're staying in right now? Anishkaya Marquez, Lord Hydron. I see. A Marquez, you say? Sounds like I need to pay this Lord Hydron a visit. I'll see if I can negotiate the use of some vacant homes for all of Harley's refugees to live in, though I doubt my name alone is worth much in collateral. Young master, please. Our rose should not be yours to shoulder. They already bear their weight, old friend. That fateful day seven years ago, my parents acted to save as many as they could. I was just a boy, lost in the panic, and I wouldn't have escaped were enough for all of you. Oh, definitely. <clears throat> in other words, I'm only standing here today because of your swift action. So let me do what I can to give you peace in this new life. Sure, but... You honour us. Still, I fear your plea may fall on deaf ears with Lord Hydron. The visit as he was seen to the church has brushed me off before as backwater refuse. Hmm. All the more reason I should speak with myself if that's how he sees you. Let's go set right. him straight. Let's talk some sense into you know... him. I fear it might backfire if we... Wait, you're coming too? Of course. Hmm. Moving forward will be in no short in no short of trouble. I'd rather not have to add my personal words to that. 
That's what friends do. It'll be fine. The friends do, aren't we? You. Very well. Thanks. Either way, it's reassuring to have you by my side. On behalf of both me and my house, you have my gratitude. And feel Stroll's deep trust in me. Rank two, baby. I feel more courageous. Wait, doesn't that mean we can give him the rank two knight now as well? I have my thanks as well, Sir Alucard. I have no doubt the young master's in capable hands. Huh. Please, enough with the young master thing. We need not stand on ceremony. Let's head back. I would have us meet Lord Harden without delay, but the sun is going down. Let's return for now and meet with him another day. Yeah, give me a mag. Well, a decent amount too at that. Mm -hmm. Back to the hushed honeybee. I hear a voice. It seemed promising, but... Vegeta comes to mind. Maybe I should go talk with her. What is it? Mm. Fancy a bit. Uh, learn about... Atradia does it. Want in on this? You surely hear that stretch of desert to the south of here? That's Atradia does it. It lies beyond the large gate. Most travellers and cargo arrive at Grand Trad after making their way through that desert. Consequently, there's no such as people who have been attacked while travelling through it. They're harassed on the journey by swarms of vermin and giant monstrous birds. The threats are too numerous to name, but the worst is the Manny to Manjula. Where it is, not only does, he ha not only does his breath burn like fire, it also spreads a foul poison. If you fight it, you should also be wary of its howl. In addition to being resistant to the heat, fire magic is ineffective against it. The blaze only invigorates it, so manage your tactics. So ice is probably good. Conversed, it's quite susceptible to the cold, meaning ice magic is effective against it. You best remember that and prepare accordingly. That's about all I know. Just when it end up as another set of bones getting bleached by the desert sun, you better know when to run. Alright. Perfect. And uh, we're going to do a new save right here. Um, I don't think anything new opened up the quest rise. Um, I don't know why he has an exclamation mark. Oh, there's a new ability. Right. So we have Vegeta that we can do. What's her next ability? Okay, not that great, but even so, I'll do it anyway. Um, let's go... Take a visit to the shops. And then we'll speak to Vegeta. What's this? I hit that with the human, but don't worry, I won't tell you one. Show me who that is. I may say, I generally think what you did was amazing. Click that city for us, we should all be grateful. Oh, okay, that's great, thank you. Let's go visit the uh, Arcadium, rather, Academia. So I think we can give ourselves the rank 2 version of the art type now. Or is it rank 3 you need? Okay. The brawler. I've been waiting. So the arch types. Um Rank 3. That is Okay. I guess I'll just unlock this while I'm here then. This right here. All right. I'm, I'm not gonna equip it, but I'll just unlock it while I'm here. I might, I might go ahead and unlock it for my other characters too. Just so it's there. Okay. I'm still getting stronger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and unlock it for these while I'm here. I see. Fascinating. This right here. All right. I think we could all benefit from it. Of course. Fast forward. Again, I wish I could skip the scene entirely, but I digress. Right. I can nope. get used to this. And Hulkenberg, you too. This this. All right. I'm counting up. It's barely even a drop in the mark that we have. We farm the shit out of a demo. I've acquired a new power. Alright, time to leave. I'm actually coming in with this now. 
Uh, it's conceivable. We've already read this. Adieu. Yeah, we've already read that. Oh. Nothing new. Let's go back to reality. We'll do a save too, so let's do the dialogue options again. It's kind of a tedious cutscene, if anything. So we'll go to one of the shops, sell our treasures, appraise our shit, then we'll go to the church, purify stuff if we can, and then uh, we'll go hang out with okay. that person. Which is there. Nice. Uh, silver claymore. Where's. Yeah, doesn't help anyone. But. Even so. There. Nothing too crazy. We are getting like a lot of uh, equipment though. I think them gauntlets might be better. Boom. It really was better. What have we got in terms of this? We lose one defense, but get plus one strength, plus one magic. And prevents malady. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. We'll go with something like this. And now, um, does Hulkenberg have anything new? No, she has that. Yep. Let's go to the church then. Wrong button. All right then. Where is it? Let's it right away. Yo. Um, still nothing of interest. So how many do we have? We have four. Enough to purify everything. I'm only going to purify this at the moment, though. I'm going to leave this as they are for now. In case we need the blessed water for something else. We might not, but I don't want to take the risk. Could get something better. Or rather more suitable. Again, once we get our fourth party member, we'll probably have a magic user. Save here, and then we'll speak to her and hang out. Ah, just you. You seem unscathed. You haven't told anyone about it. So be it. You and I collapses now. Well then, shall we discuss your assignment? I'm in. Now then. All right, come in. Now then. This is what I wanted to handle. I wanted to feed it, play with it, generally take care of it until I return. Listen. There's only one rule, however. You cannot let anyone else find out there's a dark here. No exceptions, no mistakes. That's it. What? That sounds simple. Yes. It is, but you can't got that. I mean it when I say it. I want no mis mistakes. <laughs> I'm sure you heard the anti-ignited crowd around here. The fools who believe igniters will destroy the world. Even beyond them, there are plenty of people in this world who will jump up a chance to do something crueler than kill me. That's why. That thing, this thing is a weakness waiting to be exploited. I have to hide it. I'm entrusting this matter to you. Why me? Why? You. Because you're as far removed from my business as anyone could be. In case it bears saying, don't even think of crossing me. Being associates has worked for us so far, I don't want us to be enemies. That's right. Her name is... No, never mind. Call it what you want. I'm not really sure why, but I'm just been taking care of Pachetta's dark. Hmm. It seems strangely attached to you already. I see now. I suppose you have some surprising skills, such as using magic without an igniter. How did you know that? Utterly naive. If it could impact my ignited business, it's my job to know about it. And it's not all. Weird has it that you and your entourage can transform your bodies for combat somehow. Speaking of... Long ago, there once existed an ultimate magic. They say the hero king of legend wielded a power very much like yours. 
Yeah, he was copying me. <laughs> uh, though I sincerely doubt you'll be following in his footsteps, so we'll see about that. You. I'll be frank, Alucard. You're bad for business, but that's precisely what I'm going to lend you my power. I'm selling Ignatius because they turn a profit, but I hate the damn things from the bottom of my heart. <sighs> this is a world dominated by Ignatius. As long as you got the money, you got almost all the power you want. Quite a pinch, isn't it? Those on top make a lot of profit off of bleeding the downtrodden dry. The strong get ever stronger and the weaker only cast even further down. As it is. My own hands are not bloodless than that. And so I will endeavour to help you break this wretched reel. If nothing else, it'll be amusing now. Perfect. Level 2. Farewell. Should go home for today. I'll give you your pay. I haven't done anything though. Probably done your work mm -hmm. though. You've exceeded expectations already. You made the dark like you. Something impossible for me. See you. Until next time, we'll be waiting. Or at least for Dark Will. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Hmm. I wonder if I can hang out with Stroll again for rank 3. Evidently. A group of corpses were discovered in Batradia Desert. Travelers aiming for the real capital, it seems. Right. There's certainly a lot of monsters out there. Mm. How tragic for them to meet their end so close to their destination. Exactly. We received a request at the recruitment center, did we not? Should we stay the monster ourselves? I guess we can. I, I, we will. Not now, but we will. We're uh, increasing our social ranks first. This is my goal at the moment. Um, Stroll cannot be hung out with. I don't know why you... Can I go? I'm not sure where they are at the moment. Alright. Okay. That's a bit... callous. Um... Should we do the desert first? Or should we do Hulkenberg first? I think we should do Hulkenberg first. And then do the desert. All right, then. I don't think there's anything else left here for us. Mm, no. We'll do Hulkenberg. And then the desert. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's go talk to me. Ah, tis you. Mm. I know there's little left to do, but wait, yeah, that has me more restless than anything. Ah, that's right. Every moment to talk. Sure. The truth is. Lately, I have felt a great pressure weighing on me. It's made it difficult to stay level headed. I hope I might have your counsel. It must be dealt with swiftly, lest it affect my performance in battle. How would you cope with such burdens if you were me? Uh, I'd read a book. A book, eh? The man does tend to clear when you're fully absorbed in something. Though myself, I've already preferred the sword to the page, get to dreaming around the swordplay training. The technique is self-taught, I presume. This seems a fair option to start you on some formal training. Yeah, sure. I'd like that. All right. In that case, we should need some training swords to the weapon shop of us. A fine, balanced weapon now. It is for training only, but you never know it from the Griffin Swing. <laughs> it is most nostalgic. I once trained with that blade when I just become a real guard to one myself. Plus, not long after Jordan, I was assigned to the Prince's retinue, so I was desperate to improve. I was younger even than you are now, and notably unskilled. Each night I would slip past our commander's watch during a combat mine in the dark and spar them until our hands were calloused and blistered. Certainly. Some bouts I won, some I lost. Yet despite all the times we cosplayed, we never did see who was the better. This is she's talking about Grius. Sounds like a way of your opponent. <laughs> Nothing less, it was thanks to them that I improved by leaps and bounds. We swore we'd become raw knights worthy of a title and rise to the heights of the order. I think she's talking about Grius. <sighs> we'd be champions. Surely you jest. God above Hulk and Baker, is it truly you? 
So it is you, you've returned. What a coincidence, we're just speaking of a common rival. Oh no, it's this guy, not Freyus. Is it the self same man? Hmm, then who's this pup? A friend of hers. You were so with this boy? Disgraceful. What do you mean? I mean, I'm taken aback. You endorse the company of this elder brat. You, once a proud member of a knighthood. Why does that strike you so? I suppose like attracts like, but dirt suits a fallen knight. What? Oh, calm yourself, Hulkenberg. The command that the Royal Knight is well within its bounds to judge your failures. What? Commander? You mean yourself? Yes. While you wanted as a vagrant, I earned both our share of honours. So I see. And? And you? Clearly you've already given up on pulling yourself any higher. What's occupied you instead? I pursue a mission. One that far outweighs any glory found in the Order. Oops. And of course. When you couldn't save the Prince and he thinks he had his royal guard was well and truly well and duly snuffed, wasn't it? I suppose you had little choice but to cling to your search for his shadow. How <laughs> dare. Choose your words with care. No need. I have nothing more to say. You disappoint me, Hulkenberg. What a disgusting person. Sorry. My apologies, I'm sorry you had to say that. Are you okay? Listen. <laughs> Can't have ask. <laughs> I do understand this anger. It was by my choice that our promised paths diverged after all. But we cannot afford to lose sight of our priorities. I... I look hard. Let us fight onward in the name of his royal highness. That is the path I walk now. I can sense Hulkenberg's earnest faith and deep trust. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Pardon me. Um, begging your pardon, but how do you know that fit out who just left? Mm -hmm. Merely an old friend, you don't say. We'll see you around. Very well. Let's leave our training for yes. another time. Hundred drills or a thousand swings. We'll make, an, we'll make an unsparing regimen indeed to purge this distraction. Hulkenberg and I return to the others. Now, how do we spend this afternoon? <laughs> hmm. How should we spend this afternoon, indeed? I don't think we have any anything we can do. With followers. No. Uh, well, virtues, elegance. Hmm. We don't need to do courage. Elegance is the one we would benefit from the most. Right, Which looks like that. All right, then. But I don't think there's any of that available of a knight. No. Hmm. Um. T. No. Hmm. What about requests? Really? No. Hmm. I think... What to do? Hmm. Tolerance. Hey. Hmm. No. What do you want to do? Hmm. Mm. That's right. Hmm. Scooby eating challenge up a night market. But well, if you want to take it on, you better be ready to enter the meat dimension. Hmm. Wait, I need to find where that is. The night market. Hmm. That's right. Hmm. So we come to think of it. No, hmm. I'm good on that. I think. No, hmm. I'm good. I think. No, all right. So all right. let's go check out the. Let's go. 
what the artist has to sell. And then we can try and find the night market, whatever the fuck that is. Or the all you can eat thing. Do I have anything of interest? Nope, I'm good. Is it just a vitality pendant still? It very well, maybe. Yeah, I'm good. I'll pass. Um, where is the night market? Does it show up here? I don't suppose it would be in... I don't think it's Sunstreet Row. I mean, unless it's in the tavern, that would make sense. You can try a tavern, I guess. But... Uh, just don't know. Is this the all-you-can-eat buffet place? Oh, what are you doing here? Uh... I'm sorry. What right. can I do? No, that's not it. <laughs> Maybe it isn't Sunshade Row. Well. No, what? Metaphor. Where is the night market? Oh my god. I don't think anyone has put it. Um. No. Alright. I have no idea where the night market is. It has to be Sunshade Row, right? Has to be. Night market, night market, night market. Is it one of these places? No. Uh, I just don't know what it is. No idea. You will? No, no, alright. I have no idea where the night market is. Alright. What which one should we increase the most then? Um We only need to do courage, we'll hardly rank up from doing the request. Maybe we can do imagination. Tolerance maybe? We'll just do tolerance. Oh. Must I try but we're really seeing Grand Tribe? Grand Trad. I see. Of course, no, it's understandable. We really make ourselves known to the public after all. So then, an interest in our history, and why we live our lives, including the past, I'll share if you'd like to know. Hmm. The story of history may help us better support those in need, right? What do you want to do? Listen to him. Pleased to hear it. Glad to hear. Let's go elsewhere to chat, shall we? Well then. Our tribe is called the Nostari. Perhaps the most obvious part of our culture is that we wear masks just like the one I have on right now. Next thing you'll notice, we all have free eyes. Oh. So that... That necromancer guy, Zorbas, was a Mustari. And that goes for every Mustari. What's it like to see for you all? Our fair die cannot see things. We see the world almost exactly as you do. However, the Mustari faith is vastly different from that of other tribes. We have our own unique faith different from the state religion sanctism. Well, there are beliefs beyond Sanctism? Ah, was that your first time hearing about it? Sanctism is definitely not the only religion in this country. Sanctum is a belief open to all. Perhaps that is why at times politics get involved and distort its doctrine. For that reason, we refrain from revealing our faith to everyone. It's our only means of keeping our doctrine the way it should be. It doesn't sound like the best solution, but I'm guessing it gets complicated. Some try to spread our teachings outside the island, but things quickly grow complex and one must tread carefully. Other tribes have a tendency to jump to conclusions, that is why Sanctism has gathered many believers, and now we are scorned as the mass tribe. That is who we are, forever etched into our history. You're talking about the Mustari way of life, I feel learning more about the existence has improved my tolerance. Right. I really thought that would be enough to increase it, but I guess not. 
Maybe worth telling you more next time I'll tell you about our basic doctrine if a chance comes. <laughs> Even though that was intriguing, it's about time I head back to the end. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. I guess now we go to the desert. No? Okay. Interesting. We can do straw now. And then I guess we can do imagination or some such again. And with this one, we should be able to get the level 3 warrior for straw. Very interesting indeed. We're going to see what it is. Let's go. We should talk. <clears throat> yeah. Ah, gee. Stay in like this puts the day of calamity in mind for me. I'm sorry, a bit of bind. This regards Lord Hydran, that landowner in Grad Trad, my family's old caretaker mentioned the other day. Rumors say he's clever and not in a good way. I must about how to approach him. I'll go with you. Thanks a bunch. Thank you. Just having you by my side will be reassuring. He's a devout sanctus, so we should look for him near the Grand Cathedral. Hmm. I was told Lord Hydran comes here often. Right on cue. Ow. If, if I'm not mistaken, you're the young Lord Strowler, you know? This is honor to make your acquaintance, Lord Hydran, but how do you know me? An area soul in the kingdom hasn't heard at least rumours of Halia's tragedy. Perhaps you've come to reflect and pray. No. no, I came to see you actually. I understand full well that this request may seem unreasonable, but... Truth is... I've come to beg for use of some of the vacant domiciles in the capital. As you know, my countrymen who fled Halia reside here, sleeping on the streets. Without roofs over their heads, they barely scrape by. And so I implore you, please consider offering your support to these fine people. No. <laughs> he said I don't know immediately. Are you implying I should this is some sort of manner of charity? Might be compensated in any way? Odd that you were petitioning me on their behalf to begin with. It's not as though they are still your responsibility. Besides, it's probably not an individual's earnest to bear. No. They were attacked and forced to flee their homes. You would still hold them responsible for their lack of means. Yes. So fate was cruel to them and they could not rise above it. They could not hold themselves to higher standards. No. I'm afraid I'm under no obligation here. Hmm. Besides, what of your own circumstances? If your parents are long gone, you have little else to anchor you. Consider restoring the glow of your house before you worry about the rabble. <clears throat> You're right about one thing. I was a fool to ask for your aid. What about your people? What? What about everyone from back home? Obviously. Don't worry, I won't abandon my people. Hmm. Incidentally, I don't know your compatriot from somewhere. You needn't worry about him, besides, I must apologize for taking up your precious time today. But before I go, I'd have to know that there's refugees on my people. And no matter your stance on it, I will do everything in my power to save Why them. Not? My good lad, I'm sure I must have come across rather harshly, but it's not as though I have no sympathy for you. Hmm. Abandoned by your parents, shunned by your relations, you were left of the harsh troops of the royal capital too young. It's a pity. You have terrible Hang phrasing. On. You should choose your words more carefully. Stop. Let's not let our tempers get the best of us. This isn't over yet. Dude, he gave up way too quickly. We could have stabbed him and made him do it, you know? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Rangif. Wasn't able to persuade Lord Hydran to offer assistance. It was always going to be a tall order, but he tossed it aside, couldn't get personal responsibility, and that I couldn't abide. Please don't apologize. That you went to such efforts is more than yes. we could ask. Besides, you need not worry about us, young master. Your focus should rest on rebuilding your great house. Yes. House Taliatus must rise again from the ruin that human wart. Restore to its former glory, or I should hope to greater heights still. I'd heard you've been living off the generosity of the noble families who respected your lord's parents. Rebrought so low can't have been easy for you. The people only wish to see your house flourish once again. With your inheritance, you should... Wait. Excuse my interruption. Did you say inheritance? When the village was destroyed, I don't recall any mention of one. 
so you were unaware of it. I suspected as much given our conversation the other day. Your father would have kept it separate from the estate of this I have no doubt, though I couldn't begin to say how or where. Taking that into Interesting. Account. Well, if there were any clues left, I'm sure they would all point to Halia. Let's go investigate. Sounds like an investigation is in order. Yeah. Perhaps they would have had infants about the fire. Hey. So. Regardless, I'll make the journey back here on my own, alright? I'll not burden you with a wild goose chase. No. Oh, no. We'll do this together. <laughs> I sincerely doubt we'll find anything in that rubble. Thank you. But listen, thank you for today. I would have lost it if you hadn't been here to keep me calm. I've avoided this for t far too long. It's time to face the ruins of my home head on. Might I ask for your help yet again? I'm not sure I could take another step without you on my side. Alright. And there we have it. He... Rank 3. The proud noble stroll, keeper and house of the warrior's no. virtues. With thy shared bond, a new heroic embodiment slumbering within thee has come a to blossom. Power. Bear this new power, foster this connection, and by their strength fulfill thy destiny. Of course I'd like you to come. And now study sword the swordmaster. Nice. I see what new powers await you. I do hope you'll find the inheritance your parents left you. All they'd hoped for was that you would come into your own with a worthy house. You'd be so proud of how wise beyond your years you'd become, your father especially. You'll just like him in that respect. I'm not worthy to share mention of my father, but whatever the case, I intend to honour their wishes. Pray, await my return. Alright. Let's have a little look at what Stroll's next ability it is. It might be to reduce the mag cost of studying that archetype. Oh! Vegeta? Mm. Interesting. We really can do a lot for some reason. A lot of shit's opened up. We do have to go to the desert before the uh, thing happens though. That's one thing I will insist upon. What's the next one? Oh, that's pretty good. So I'm assuming that would apply to me as well. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. What's her rank three? Yeah, Magic Knight. Magic Knight? Interesting. Very interesting. And what's her rank three? Wizard. And... Ah, that's also going to be really useful. What's her rank 3? Oh, does that unlock her um, level 3 archetype too? That'd be pretty cool if it does. Let's go find out. Hmm. We should talk. I don't know how high we can take this shit before it ca cuts off. How many more days do we have? Four? We're pretty good. See, yeah. Of course. Now then. Here's the leash. Today's job is to walk it. It's been itching to get out lately. Keeps making a fuss. Walk it around the capital so it quiets down and gets the energy out of its system. You can't be seen coming in and out of here. You've no questions, then get to it. I took the dog out of anyone seeing and walked it around the capital. Okay. Seems to have taken a liking to you. But. I can hear it from downstairs, don't get too excited. <laughs> this is on you too, dog. A simple walk shouldn't be enough for you to let your guard down. You jealous or something? That's what's cute about it. But... Cuteness isn't enough to stay alive in this world. Uh, I never liked this thing ever since the first time I laid eyes on it. Then why'd you keep it? It was on the side of the road, bay from the neck down, head bleeding too, probably hit by a walk rock at it's some point. Over. It could have just given up and died, but I looked into my eyes and whimpered. I hated the sight of it. Hmm? This poor little dog, you didn't feel drawn to it at all. In those days. I was once astray myself. My earliest memories of fighting a dog over a scrap of meat covered in dirt and getting bitten for my trouble. Whenever I went, I found only hunger and violence, so I robbed and stole anything and everything. I fought and I survived. It's a living hell. It was hell. 
Really? I never have guessed to see who you are now. Uh, what am I doing? Talking to my child about this. Just a fantasy. It's like that dog. I let my guard down like a fool. Never mind. Forget I said anything. No. Wait, I want Why? to hear more. I'm already doing once you know. Are you really prepared for that information? No matter. While we're on the subject, one word of advice. Listen. This world is a bottomless hell, a bag of endless muck. If you trust another person to keep you afloat in it, you'll feel the sludge close over your head Don't soon enough. To survive, you need the strength to make your way through that muck. Nobody can do it for you, and indeed nobody else should. You need your own strength. And I'd say that's well within your powers. Therefore. In addition, I'd like to provide one other reward. I'm sure you're aware there's a man in town tasked with exchange of mag obtained from hunting monsters and the like. I'll put on a word room so they're more flexible with you. Not just here in Grand Trad, but across the kingdom. Oh. Very nice. Well, we didn't choose any of the dialogues to get extra mags, so that's unfortunate. But I'm not too concerned. Beautifully done. We can get a lot more money from the uh, mag exchange now. Imagine how much we'll get on a rainy day. I shouldn't be the only one talking. You owe me some secrets of yours after all that. Grius tried to kill Louise, did he not? Did I imagine you're aiming for the Me same there. thing? What are your true motives? What are you really aiming to do? To help people like you. Honestly. I hated it. If there were anyone else telling me that, I'd kill them where they stood. But for now, I'll restrain myself. I can't tell what you're thinking at all, but I'll expose your true nature eventually. I'm off. That's all for today. Come by again when you can. I'm sure the dog will be delighted to see you. Da -da 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 -da. Time marches on, and the I wonder if Hulkenberg will be available to speak to now. I can't imagine Shaw will be available already. Uh, Damn. What's happened with some of the dispatch soldiers? Since all this began, the armies lacked the manpower and the recent turmoil has only exacerbated their troubles. Mm. At least they put a bounty on the beast, since we should just slay ourselves and be done with it. I agree. I very much agree. Well, then. Wait, is that it? No more pop-ups? Very well. Time to go to the desert then. Seems like a good a time as any. We do the desert today, and then we uh, should have tomorrow and the day after completely free. Should we check the bounty board first before going out, actually? Just to make sure there's nothing new. Yeah, let's do it. Let's check the bounty board, make sure there's no new bounties. I don't think there will be, but even so, I just want to make sure. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Let's go then. All right then. Go. I'm just gonna take care of this bitch ass monster. How close is he? Pretty halfway there. No. Hey. Uh... Check the map. Um. Whoa, chill. Uh, oh, chill. It's your call. No, I don't want to go. I guess the desert doesn't show up on the map. Let's go. I don't know if this will take an entire day or just the morning, but we'll see. We shall see indeed. Hmm. Can you believe a wasteland this wild has been so close to Grand Trad all this time? Makes for easier bounty hunting, I suppose. Just attempt to reduce the number of monsters here for the sake of the travels that pass through this area. All set then, I'm ready when you are. However, I cannot overlook the fact that there are bandits here as well as monsters. Keeping this desert safe gives me quite the headache. In any case, exterminating a few more monsters could prevent tragedy. Your travelers will be attacked. I am prepared and acted ready for your command. Now, where was I? Let's go to Academia. 
We'll unlock that new warrior. Well, hmm. well. Hmm. Is it 20k for everyone to get it? Because if so, then that's going to be really expensive. I believe it is. Oh, it reduced it massively. From 20k to 7.2k. Oh. Yeah. See? It really did. Was it even the Seeker? It used to be 20k, I believe. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. No. Very nice. I see. Let's see here. Let's have a look at the uh, skills. Oh, that's pretty nice. We get a simplest of skill as a basic skill. That's pretty good. That's really good. That is insanely good. That is actually really good. Now, what does this one have? Uh... Mm -hmm -hmm. We could have it inherit slash boost too. Yeah, let's do it. See. Fascinating. This right here. Mm, hold on, I didn't read it. Sorcery of Life. Materialic embodiment is the adept champion, a gallant who welcomes overwhelming numbers and wins, or to protect the weak. Challenge the Swordmaster for the first time. Would you like your ally to unlock it? Yes, I would. I'm counting on you. Yes, and trust all this power. And then the rest is just the same, I believe. Oh. Uh... Yep. Yep. I'm very pleased my wish has come quite along quite nicely thanks to you. It's not much, but please take this as a token of my thanks. A new ability. Uh I guess we could. What does this require? Rank 20 and an unknown study requirement. Very well. Um, let me go ahead and unlock it for my character too. Then. This right here. All right. I'm counting on you. This is the power I see. I'll go ahead and unlock it for Hulk and Big too. Although I won't be using it. Oh. New skills, new possibilities. No, I'm good. I see. Fascinate this, right? All right. I'm ca it really took a lot of our mark just to do that, but it's fine. We it should be get, it should get become easier and easier oh. to get more mark. To greater heights. No, I'm good. We should be able to get. Oh, so the requirements may rank ten. Interesting. And rank three. Hmm. Interesting indeed. I have to keep that in mind. Inherit skills, stroll, sword master. Hmm. Mm hmm. Pack. Or is it? No, passive. Here we go. It's one more for. Mm-hmm. Increase the slash attack by 20%. All right. 20,000 mag? Whatever, man. That's fine. It is what it is. We'll get more. It's no biggie. Mm-hmm. And then that should be good for now. What about Hulk and Bear? I'll cross it over to my... We'll keep up with ice. Since it'll be useful. 
for now, we'll leave it at that and just leave this place. All right, let's have a, let's have a little look at the uh, incense he gave. Pretty decent amount. Uh... Hmm. A very decent amount indeed. We'll keep saving up for now, though. Because maybe we want, might want to use it on the uh, the adept. Let's continue on. Let's explore it. Let's do it. Hopefully this is a good farming area, but it might not be. It might be worse than the Malika Corridor and such. Monsters seem to be on the rise, even as close to the capital. It doesn't take long to feel you're really in the wild. Yes. And present times make the capital a popular travel destination. We can't stand idly by. This bounty apparently leads a pack of wild dogs, but something called a manjula. Wait, was that monster just now? Hmm. Did it approach because it sensed us? Looks like it checked up on us and then ran back. Let's just focus on the smaller chaos, it can't ignore us forever. Yes. So you aim to let it out? I'm gonna plan this any, so let's be about it. Now. Some bounty requests require a number of enemies to be killed before you can fight the main target. Once you defeat the required number of enemies, the bounty will appear. Make sure you prepare for the real battle to begin. Alright. It's all clear. I don't think there's any need for me to open this. Oh. Ow. Oh, so they just hide underground, being little bitches. Alright. They all seem pretty weak. You got Let me just run around and uncover the edge of the map. Level 11, level 9, oh there's a treasure chest, it's a good thing I've been exploring. Uh, I think it might be worse than the, uh, the dragon slayer thing that I have. Alright, I don't think it will make us leave once we kill all the dogs. I'm just running around with this on, so we can check for loot and chests and such. We should be for the most part fine. I see a thing over there that we want to fight. Let me go ahead and take care of it. It's over. Beautiful. Be careful. There's more of them. I don't think that there's oh there's something over there in the rib cage too, so we can grab that. We're slowly uncovering the map. Uh that's going from the side. So why is there a cat right there? I mean I know what what I'm trying to say is why they have all places. Get rid of all the fuck of war. Yep, so you would have missed this. Gold beetle. Way. Yeah, that's a good thing we got that. I almost forgot about them even existing, to be honest with you. Well, I'll leave the dogs for now, because I don't, I don't want to fight the boss just yet. I just want to uncover the entire map and make sure there's nothing we're missing. And there's another chest right there. We found some bad. Nice. Uh, they all seem pretty weak. You got yeah, this. they do. They seem very weak indeed. Now we could farm this, but these are even weaker than the Belief of Corridor Goblins, and it's just not worth the time it would take. I I'm mostly just looking at the minimap. Because the minimap would make it makes it a lot more obvious of those items rather than uh, using my eyes I think that's everywhere yeah I think that's everywhere I'm gonna have a look at the map yep 
Time to finish up that. No hiding. No hiding. Right there. If you charging it. Shiny stone! Wow! Should be popping up now, right? Look. I'm sensing something huge and it's had to write for us. Seems like messing with its pack has made it really angry. We should have just beat this pretty easily. Right. It finally appeared. Damn, it's huge. Between the worms and this guy, the people in town are essentially trapped. One certainly expects beasts in the desert, but for something like this to appear. No kidding. This isn't the type of fellow a city guard can handle. You've got to do something. Watch yourself, this is no mere worm or wild dog. Yeah, I can see that just fine. Here it comes, brace yourselves. This, I bet this is easy. Um, uh, I don't think I have any ice. What I'll do... Maybe this? No, well, let's just do a normal basic attack and see how much damage it does. I can't afford to hold back. Are you prepared? Hmm. That's not good at all. It's fine. My strength. Eh. Mm. Let me just hit. Let me just do ice. No, what do I have? Ice attacks, items. What do we do? But only one. I think, yeah. I'll, I'll use my negate physical. Oh, wait, is it a physical block or physical repel? That's the question. Maybe it might not be a good idea to, to use that thing. Yeah. Let's see. No, it has block, not repel. I guess I can just heal myself. I don't know if this will work. Oh, it does. Okay. Yeah, we, we should have to re beat this. Uh, I don't think this will help much. It does. But basic attack does more damage. Yeah, it's not too... Uh, not too much of a difficult fight. We definitely fucked ourselves by switching to our level 1 archetype on Troll. But uh, our damage and our level increase just means we can overpower it anyway. So it's no biggie. That would have been a lot smoother with the old archetype Troll had, I believe. Or if we had a mage. If we had a mage, but we were in... if, we, if I just switched them all to mages at max level, it would have been so easy. However... Just spamming ice attacks. Well, this bounty's been left unaddressed, the military must truly be short handed. So. True. I'm, I'm glad we can profit from it. This sort of thing really is their responsibility. Yes. I couldn't agree more. At least the threat to this area has been neutralized. For now, right. anyway. Absolutely. That's enough for now. Alucard, let's go report to the recruitment what center. Leave it to us. Now oh, then, should we return to the entrance? I want to have one last little look. Hmm. Oh. I believe everything's over, but... Oh, didn't mean to pass that. I believe everything here... Yeah, let's leave. Right there. You know, no, stop it. Hmm. What now? Right, I'm just gonna switch him back to. Oh no, that has a much higher strength. Like magic is less, but who cares? That's more endurance, but 
I'm trying to probably catch up to it when you level it up. We'll put, we'll put this on, back on for now. What, what? Oh no, that's the wrong thing, that's right. This is the one. Yeah, this is much better for now. We'll put Warrior back on. And then... We'll feed him some Arch-type XP items to level up the ninth, and then we'll switch over. That's what we'll do for now. I'll do a save right here, and then we'll head back into the city. And we should be good. Mm. Mm. I would if it wasn't for the fact that already overpowered for this area. Yeah, but we're good. Let's go back to the city. We don't have time to get back in time to do anything else anyway, but it's okay, right? Right here, let's figure out what to eat. Okay, the bounty. I don't know if we get the night meal. I don't think we do. I think it puts us straight back into the morning. All right. We're taking down the mantra of the terrorizing the desert, so that bounty is all ours now. It's rewarding itself to know that one less threat menaces the capital. Of course, we should collect our fair compensation as we most certainly earned it. I'm glad we were able to help people too. And of course, let's go report in the recruitment center before we forget. Hmm. Gordon's announcement is just around the corner. There's no point in trying to predict what he's going to say sure. now. It would be wise to make the most of the time we have remaining. Perhaps there are others who require our aid, or we could develop our archetypes. Well, I suppose we ought to turn up overnight once we finish our plates. I'd say we end our rest today. Good job. Yeah, I think it puts. It, I think it's going to put straight into tomorrow. Yeah, on, that's fine. Age of a new king draws nearer. We've done our request for the most part. I think that's, I think actually we have done them all. I think the only thing we have now well, are the royal virtues. Yeah. Hi. Um, idol stay sale. I don't really care too much to be honest with you. The only thing I care about is if there's a reduction on the purification thing. Closure. There is not. I mean, maybe there is, but it doesn't go below one. It's impossible to know. All right, then. Um, Let's go. Recruitment center. And then we'll go sell our treasures and appraise whatever we have. And then I'll be it then. We'll do our world there, choose, and then I'll be the announcement time. Surely not. You very much just leave a bounty. That's certainly its rampage of tail. Even the military soldiers fled from it in fear. You lost something else. Here's the reward as promised. Take it. It's yours. We did it. Mm-hmm. Please give me a code of strength too. Please. Right. Just take oh that. Surely. No? Okay. My support is changing. There's really ten thousand reef here. I'm ready for more contracts that you pay off this well. I'm afraid you can't I don't have any other contracts that can offer you right now. The recruitment centers in other cities should also handle contracts. Take a look if you have the chance. Yeah, all right, that's good. We're, we're done here then. All right then. Um, let's go, go here, sell a praise, and then try and develop our social ranks or our real virtues, I should call them. Okay. Hello there. Now then. All right, a praise. Probably nothing of interest. I'll just appraise it to have it ready to go. Hello there. In fact, do you have any more 50k items? You do not. Alright, that's fair enough. Hey, listen. No. Um. All right, then. What does the cultural of virtue look like? Sword. All right, then. Do any of these people have a sword indication? Uh, no. I guess we can just do the political eloquence one. I'll be wait. Um, interesting. Yeah, let's do political eloquence and then figure out what else we're going to do. That will be quite 
Excuse me. Hmm. Okay. Wants money. There you go. I need a moment of your time. Let's chat Let again. Yep. Should chat it up. Let's do it. Oh, how wonderful. Then please come this way. I talked with the activist woman. I may have mentioned it before, but the others outside of Ukraine are fundraising like okay. this. I'm not sure about the opportunity to meet them, but if fate would have it, could you hear them out? Looks like my support was a source of encouragement for it. I feel like my elegance has improved right. too. Uh, surely coach is on the edge of ranking up. Well then. Has to be. Surely. <laughs> what is mm, do you have anything new to sell? That's I doubt it, it but no. Alright. Alright then. Um you can, you can hang out with Bridget. You can. And we can already get rank four. Okay. I'm going to speak to her. Rank 4 merchant already. Well, That's pretty I'll crazy, but I'll take it. Oh, it's raining. Chat, let's go see how much mag right. we can get from the exchange guy on a rainy day with improved exchange rates. What is it? There it is. I wish I could just mouse over it and click it on the map. Maybe I can. You've come at a good mm. time. <laughs> Accumulators, the exchange for headers is useless as well. Excuse them, however, you see fit. Thanks to Bajita's merchant rate, the exchange rate for Mac has slightly increased. Alright. One to seven. Insane. 10k for 70k reeves. Insane exchange rate. I might just do it. Yeah. We now have plenty of money. What now? Our mag isn't looking too great, right, but then. we have a shit ton of money. And that's what matters the most to me. Let's go back to Bajuta. Well, we already we're, we're already about understand. to have a a supporter halfway to max rank. Ah, just you sorry. Did something happen? Come inside. Did the dog run away? Unfortunately. I no longer have any work for you. The dog is no longer here. She ran away. That would have been preferable to the truth. But now she was taken. I'm sorry. I know you kept the silence as promised. Unfortunately, didn't stop a thief from sneaking in, scatters a vendor, and taking it away. Left behind a letter that read, those who spread magic penances shall face the wrath of God. It's not hard to imagine what happened to her. I'll find the culprit before long and I'll make certain to get what they deserve. However, this isn't the work of a single person but of a larger organisation. Anti-ignited extremists. A bunch of filthy rotten cowards. The Pope was innocent and all this, I shouldn't have kept her. The moment I start caring about anything, I'd lose it. I know that. I try to keep my feelings out of it. Why does this have to happen? Let's be fighting through the pain. For how long must they live in this hideous world? If only I had disappeared instead. Tears or not, I can sense the pain, sadness and frustration betray to this feeling. Where it would be of little comfort here. Perhaps if I stirred her imagination, she would have been relieved of such despair. What? A book? I told Pachita about the fancies he will depicted in my book, trying to give it even the faintest glimmer of hope. Mm. Well, people will help one another, respect one another, and live in equality. How quaint. But... The author was a sheltered man, I take it. He knows nothing but the real world. The only equality is that we all inevitably die. The path to that point is different for everyone, meaning everyone has to fight for their own hell. Mm. I don't think that's not true. Mm. You're an elder. Live in a world that hates you. How can you still make yourself believe in light even through all that? I can't see that light myself, but I know you can. 
and I really do want to believe in you and your vision. I can sense Patrice's profound sadness and her grasping to trust. I was really worried there, it was going to be like, oh, you don't have enough imagination, you can't do this. And we're like, oh, for fuck's sake. More skills can now be inherited by the merchants, lineage, and academia due to the effects of science merit. More items are now available, okay. In any case. Here's your pay. I've included what I've set aside for your future shifts too. I'll keep visiting. Ugh. I'll still keep visiting, Bajitha. Why? Why, she's gone. I have no more work to give you. What's left for you here? <sighs> you don't need to come here anymore. Left the room without another word. Nice. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. The announcement is soon. Coming tomorrow, is it? What's this proclamation of this going to be anyway? Wonder if it's going to thank us for what we did in the Grand Cathedral. I doubt it. No. I wouldn't hold your breath on that one. Ostensibly, the state army is getting all the credit for taking down that human after all. You sure know soon enough, so there's little point contemplating get further. Until then, let us simply do what we can as we wait for events to unfold. The Sanctus Grand Announcement is happening tomorrow. Alright. Save. Any requests or supporter meetups? <clears throat> it's pretty nice. I'll be pretty useful. Right. We could have combined that with a uh, idle state sale. I'm probably got the 50k items really cheap, but I didn't do that. So, womp womp. Um, let's go Going. up top and do our politician thing again. Hey, listen. Excuse me. Hmm. Because there isn't anything else left to do. I need a moment of your time. It's gonna be tough. Yeah. Happy I'll do it. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's the same thing. All right. I don't think it's not that block. There's no way. No, didn't think so. Well then. I speak to Bajita again. Is there gonna be a thing? Mm -hmm. I very much doubt it. What is it? But let's see. Yeah, I didn't think so. Um. Let's see. Any new requests? Hmm. I actually think it's best to do this. Really? Alright. We're good on that. Uh, Royal oh, Virtues. Mm -hmm. Which one should we do? Should we, do? we can't do Courage. There's nothing there for it. I guess we could try and do Imagination, right. maybe? Hmm. Let's try and do imagination. Mm. I don't know if we'll get a level up off of this, but I'm just trying to equally push them as close to rank two as possible. <clears throat> so then you do that state and start. We can get it pretty easily. Also, some true that old story after all. There's a boy my pencil even told me she was about fairies before bed for came up to tell you one. Yeah. My intervention might improve. Wanna to listen to the elderly gentleman's story? My yes. Imagine that. Yeah, instead of fairy tale to a really f a real fairy. Come, well, let's find the table at the tavern. Long ago. Now this story goes back to my grandfather's grandfather. Once, far far away. There was a village out in the countryside. There was a cave near there by the village that prohibited anyone from entering, but one day, my ancestor, who was just a boy then, decided he had to see it for himself. So he defied his elders. Your ancestor sounds like a handful. It runs in the family, ha. Anyway, sure enough, 
The adventure deep inside and soon became swallowed in darkness, hopelessly lost. A handful or not, he was still just a boy, and his bravery failed him. He sank to his knees in the dark, crying pitifully. But then, something bathed in a warm light caught his eyes as it approached him. Little lights actually spoke, saying, Pipe down, you can't cry in a place like this. <clears throat> he was shocked. After he got a good look at it, the boy realised it was a fairy, pulsing with life. He was so relieved his tears only magnified, but the fairy couldn't bear it. Throwing her arms up, she said, if you want to cry so badly, fine, suit yourself, and she left. But before he knew it, the fairy returned, come on, follow me, she said, I'll show you the way out. You see, she had sensed the dangerous beast deep in the cave and compassion won the day. She decided to get him safely back to the entrance. Ah, I thought the fairy was kind of cruel at first, but I guess she had a good heart. When he arrived at the cave mouth, the boy turned to thank the fairy, but she had already disappeared into thin air. Time marched on, and he grew into an adult. He visited the cave countless times, hoping to find and thank her, but he never saw her again as long as he lived. Oh, would you look for time? You better pick this up again later. If you'd like to know the end, then I'll be around. Hmm. All right. Uh, 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 uh. But all... Get him pretty decently up there. Well then. And I guess it's gonna to go to tomorrow and will be a big massive speech. Yeah. Rather easily at that too. Right then. Today's Forden's big announcement. Wonder what he's planning. I guess the church has to have some reaction to all that stuff the king said. Whatever it is, Luis won't be able to just ignore it. This might be a day that goes down in history. Hmm. <clears throat> Ladies and gents, lend me your ears. No, I need that. Sanctifex Forden has spoken. The giant face in the sky. The massive rocks appearing throughout the land, and the mysterious voice claiming to be the past king. The Sanctus Church has officially recognized these happenings as the will of his royal majesty. I was going to go the other way and he'd reject it, but that would be very stupid of them. <gasps> so it really is his majesty? Yeah. And so, as his majesty has decreed, whoever has gained the greatest trust of the people by the day of decision shall be our new king. This is a historic moment, good citizens. It's revolutionary. It's unprecedented. No matter who you are, you can take the throne. Anyone? Indeed. Even me? No, not you. Just you in particular, though. Everyone else can do it, just not you. If, and this is a big if, you are the person that all our people trust most in their hearts. Maybe you could be king yourself, eh? You're popular enough. Me? In charge? <laughs> well, that's the last thing this country needs. Right, let's review what we know, shall we? No. First, the new faces that have appeared on the rock. It shows us who's foremost in the running. We've worked out that much. The top three of the lot are also shown in the sky. Suppose that way you can see their inspiring faces anytime, anywhere. Hold on. How's us common folks supposed to stand a chance against all these upper crusters? You don't. So you do become popular. With your face clear for all to see, surely that'd make you a prime target for assassination. Not quite, friend. Not quite. A valid concern, but one His Majesty prepared for. Popular aspirants, at least those who make it onto the rock, are protected by royal magic. Assassinations off the table. Magic chains will spring to life and bind anyone who tries. I saw it happen with my own eyes to Count Luis's sorry assailant. So, literally anyone could be king? Even a pauper? Or a slave? Or a criminal? But hold on, you mean to say we might not be ruled by Clamart? What does that mean for us? Right, I've said my piece. You know all I know. Now go forth, ladies and gents, and spread the word. Whether you're from our fair capital, or the middle of nowhere, the crown's within your grasp. 
anyone in the land could be our next king. Hmm. I already know who it's going to be. It'll be me. I heard the announcement. The church That's not KSI. Si. He's not going to have it. Words as crown sent and shall abide by them. Mm -mm. They conceded that one quickly. Though I suppose it's a hard thing to deny, what with the royal palace hanging up there in the clouds. Had they rushed a coronation for his eminence, Forden, it would have dashed any hope of reinstating his highness. A small comfort. I can tell from your face, there's some bad news too. Do you recall those chains that froze Alsace in place? It seems that too was part of his majesty's magic. No shit, I'm more of a fa- uh, Even a five-year-old could figure that out. Plainly, any candidates of sufficient favor cannot be deposed by force. Is that a problem? Is that a problem? Luis is second in the standings. Any strikes against him would be likewise disrupted. I will still seek to find him. Yet, even should we stand before the man himself, we could not kill him. No! If we can't kill him, then how do we break the curse? Easy. What the hell was the king thinking? Grius was trying to save his son. He died for it. Even so, without this magic, no aspirant would be safe from assassination, leaving Luis to dominate through sheer martial strength. <sighs> we appear to be at an impasse. No, I already see the answer. Everyone, have you seen Maria? Did something happen? I checked her room and she isn't there. Oh, oh no. Anyway. She wouldn't just leave without telling anyone. I, I couldn't deal with losing both of them. I... I'll go look I'll for go that. Look for you, you will? Thank you. When I think of what might happen to her... If she left her room on her own, she must have had some reason. Let's go search for her. If we head into town, we might find some clues. Honestly, that was a little bit more anticlimactic than I thought it would be. I was in like some anime cutscene with a big massive speech and then Where? something. But no. You're kidding. Where could Mary have gone? Wait, oh no. I think I know where, but uh, you know. Uh I don't think anything is available. Yeah. Hold on, what just popped off? Mm. Oh, boy. oh, that was a big boost all of a sudden. Saw the earlier. Is there not for Sunshade Rail? No, by the Jammer Store. Didn't want to be running an errand down. Right over there. Jammer Store. I see. Let's go then. Ah, sword skateboard. It's so cool, it's so park. I'm not gonna bother with speaking to all these people. Hey, how's it going? Ah, uh, hello. Is there anyone like that around here? A good bit of half blood. If so, then yes, I did see her. Or from Papa, I'm looking all sad. I saw her go through the back alley. Would she have gone to the Grand Cathedral? Yes. I believe that's exactly where she's gone. Mm -hmm. Hello, guys. It's me. This is all right. Hello there. You know that a little half blood girl? Can't let a girl like that walk the streets alone. Just ask him for trouble. And she just went inside. I didn't stop her. The way her eyes locked, I'd not be the one to stop her now. She's been willing to pray for a while, no matter how many glares she gets. So you didn't do your job. You're a bomb. Huh? Why? Everyone's worried about Everyone you. Everyone was worried about you. Sorry. Papa hasn't come home. And I always come here whenever I'm feeling lonely. 
Mm. One time he came here to get me. I remember because he called my name. But I pray, and he still doesn't come back. Maybe because the cathedral is broken? Maria. Miss Fabian says Papa can't come home anymore. But I know... Papa's gone away. He's gone somewhere I'll never see him again. Hasn't he? <sighs> it's... It's going to be so lonely. The loneliest it's ever been. But... I have to be strong, don't I? But if it gets any lonelier, I... I don't know if I can do it. I'm sorry. I promised we'd all come back together. Why does everyone always leave? Mum was sick. The King and Prince are gone. And now Papa? Why does everyone always leave? Is it my fault? I really did my best to be a good girl, but... That's not why. He's right, Maria. It's not your fault at all. Listen to me, all right? Your father, he... He was fighting a very bad man. We were with him, but... We couldn't protect him. I'm sorry. I remember Papa saying something like that. He said... A really bad man might be our king. Is that part of it? It's going to be all right. Don't worry. Hmm. I hope the next king is as nice as you. Then maybe things won't always be so sad. Mm. In my ideal world, people can believe in their future. Their birth doesn't matter. The prince told me that once. I think I understand the king's intentions now. Maybe this is the sort of tragedy he was trying to end. Maybe he wanted a world where the crown goes to one who acts like a king ought to. Not whoever's willing to spill the most blood to do it. You may be right, but much as we wish it, this is not a fight that might be ended through words alone. Even so, we have to try. Maria, you're safe! Oh, you had me worried sick. I'm sorry for leaving on my own. No, it's all right. Miss Fabienne? I... I'm hungry. Maria. Yes, that's right. Let's all sit down for some supper together. Thank you for finding her. It looks like she's worked things out. She's a strong girl. But we've more troubles ahead. How now do we resolve this curse upon his highness? If Luis is the curse's caster, we've got to kill him to dispel it. So how do we do that if he's shielded by the king himself? I wish I you could... You guys not it out yet? The prince is still asleep, and we're losing time. I don't think going back to the village is an option. We cannot lose faith yet. There must be some further course but, we can... Are these guys retarded? So obvious. Well, there's the church's announcement. I expect they're trying to stop a wave of rival candidates from flooding the standings. I doubt the church would accept this popularity contest if they didn't already have a plan to game it. True enough. I can only wonder at their aims. For today, we should content ourselves with rest and recovery. No, I'm good. I... I... No, 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 no. Did... I can spend the rest of the day to improve my world bear shoes. Sorry, did I wake you? Laying here, I always end up caught in my own thoughts. 
Grius and Maria. The prince. Just thinking in circles again. Not good, is it? Let's think about it together. <laughs> Keeping me company, are you? You really are a strange one. My kind of strange, if I'm honest. That book? Is that the novel you're always carrying around? <laughs> Feels like months ago now that I spotted you buried in it on the carriage ride to the fort. Wanna read it? If you don't mind, since we finally some room to breathe. Oh, interesting. It's written through the lens of a fictional land. This bit's about the utopia security. In this world, there is no blood-stained contest for sovereignty. The people choose their sovereign from among themselves. One cannot put a sovereign to the sword to seize power. Such an act would be met with scorn and judged as murder. Taking power or wealth by force is seen as the most shameful of transgressions. <laughs> Couldn't be further from reality, could it? We have a Kingslayer on the brink of seizing the throne right now. And this idea of competing for public support. Here it sounds so commonplace, but the idea has thrown us all into chaos. Interesting. Perhaps I'm overthinking, but it sounds almost like the aim of the King's magic. You suppose there's some common inspiration? Still, I don't imagine this would turn out well in the real world. In public opinion, tribal perspective always divides us. Besides, does a decision made by the people guarantee its right? Tribal squabbles aren't always political. Take us Clamars, for example. It can be hard for us to see outside the bubble of our own worldview. We're the majority, and the tribe of the royal bloodline besides. That privilege can make us... insensitive. A problem with no easy solution. I fear. Lofty words. I can hardly come to terms with my own ideals. Still, the discussions helped clear my head a little. Thank you. I've been so fixated on killing Luis, but... Maybe we could look into whether that's really the only way to lift the curse. <gasps> Sleep should come easier now. I think I'll give it another chance. Wait, how long have you been asleep? Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Ladies and gents, have you heard the news? The curtain's about to rise on the show of a lifetime. To choose our new ruler, we're going to give all of you a chance to take center stage in a show of power for the whole kingdom. And we call it the Tournament for the Throne. Our aspirants will set out on a grand tour of the three allied nations' capitals, taking part in a variety of exciting trials. First, we have the Exhibition of the Brave. Slay a monster plaguing our fair people and bring its head to Oceana's capital in time. Biggest find takes the win. Official word is, this event's open to all. So what do you think, ladies and gents? Are you in it to watch or in it to win? Slaying a monster is easy enough. So, why call us so early in the morning? What is that journal? I had Fabienne bring it up. Something occurred to me, so I asked her to go through Grius's personal effects. Hey, looks like he was investigating the curse too. There's a note here. Given the spell's complexity, it must have required a scribed formula. You mean to suggest... Juiz possesses a written composition of the curse somewhere. And if we can find that... Yes! I'd wager, even if we can't kill Luis, we might still have a shot at breaking the curse. But that attack took place years ago, didn't it? This curse's formula could be lost for good. We have little choice but to hope it's not. 
I'm not saying it would be easy. And the real trick will be finding it. You wouldn't leave it unprotected. That reminds me. A crier for the church was handing these out. A flyer for the tournament for the throne. This popularity contest is state-sponsored now. An interesting gamble for those politicians. I like the bit about all this being in the interest of fairness, those weasels. But saying it's being organized by the state. The throne's empty. This smells like the theocracy at work. Probably Forden himself. You think Forden's looking to fix the competition in his favor? He's been in first place this whole time. In the interest of fairness, remember? If he wins a fair race, he gets legitimized, and Luis gets put on the back foot. That bodes ill. Those with existing support could easily solidify their claim. Even should His Highness wake, he may lose the throne. If we don't hurry and find a way to get close to Luis, we're sunk. Ah, what are we supposed to do? <sighs> We enter the tournament for the throne. Let's enter this tournament for the throne. Huh? Hey, were you even listening to us? Besides, the prince isn't exactly in a position to take part in... Wait. It sounds crazy, but I think he might be onto something there. This could be just the excuse we need to get close to Luis. He doesn't care about your tribe so long as you prove capable, yes? That's what Zorba was saying. Which means, even though the world looks down on you as an elder, having the power to kill humans puts you in his good graces. You're going to make him a candidate for the throne? Yeah. If all we need to Why do not? is get Luis's attention, then that's sure to get the job done. If we're lucky, he might even try to recruit us. I see. An undercover operation, is it? Quite a gambit. But it may well be our best chance at finding this formula. Just hold on a second! Getting Louise's attention is all well and good. But remember who's actually risking their life here. Nah, I'm, I'm out with. What do you think? Having heard all this, do you want to enter the running? I do. Of course I do. No hesitation at all. Right. And my mind's up the worst. The prince spoke to me now, youth. In my ideal world, people can believe in their future. Their birth doesn't matter. No matter who someone is, they deserve a fair country. If it's to help achieve that, I will stand for the prince as a candidate for the throne. Sheesh. So much for being a guide. Now you're the one leading me around. Your resolve has marked you a fine fit for the role. I have trusted you with my life before. And would gladly do so again. In House of Creators Journal. Okay. Now what? Good heavens. Haven't you put yourself in enough danger? No, need Max P. Listen to me. I don't want you going down the same path he did. Are you really this set on running off again? Yes. Yes. I've got a job to do. Oh, familiar words. I'll be cheering for you in this mess of a competition. Truth be told, I wish I could do more than feed and shelter you. Maybe you can. What's the competition? It's a big grand race to see who will be the next king. The whole country will be watching. So you're going to try and become king? Wow. Then I'll cheer for you as loud as I can. <laughs> you have your first advocate, it seems. Suppose you'll have to actually try for the throne now, eh? Your yeah. Majesty. That's the plan. That the plan from the start. <laughs> That's the spirit. Well, if we want Louise to notice you, we'll have to make quite a stir among the people. Maybe reaching for the throne will do it. Does that mean you're not coming back? No, we'll be back. Although we might be a while. I don't like when it gets lonely. Maria. 
but I'll be cheering for you. I hope you win the race. You'd be a good king. We'll meet again. We'll see each other again. You better not forget. Now, we'd best get registration out of the way, but we'll need some legs for the journey. It's mostly lawless wastes between cities. I have two legs. What about you? Judging by this specified deadline, we are unlikely to reach the Principality of Oceana's capital in time on foot. I bet all these fancy nobles have their own gauntlet runners to ride in. A carriage one of them. our chances. If we could find one. Perhaps we split up for now. I'll leave you two to the registration. They should be taking entrance at the recruitment center. Hmm. Very well. This should be the place, right? No, no, I think it's a different recruitment center. Has to be. Excuse us. We're looking to join the tournament for the throne. I be young, ain't ya? And who's the kid? Be with you. I'm the one entering. I'm the one entering. You? Really? I've not heard of any age restrictions. There a problem? Well, I'd not have thought it. But you're an elder, ain't ya? And you wanna be king? Well, the novelty of it might win you some looks. Could you just do your job, please? Can he register or not? Ah, an elder. Now that I think of it, weren't you in that pack of recruits that went off to the northern fort? Thought I heard they were all wiped out. What? We got a deserter turning up. No, they said he'd just dragged the company down, so they left him at the capital. He, um, got on the captain's bad side. Could swear I've seen you before, too. Well, hardly matters with no captain to verify with. Go on, then. You can represent the lesser tribes so nobody complains. Hmm. <sighs> that was a close one. And, uh, obviously, you're gonna need a carriage. Otherwise, the whole thing's off for you. Now, you're obligated to attend the opening ceremony tomorrow. It'll be at the plaza at the Grand Cathedral. Don't be late. I won't. We'll have to hurry up and find us a carriage. Dude, I'm rich as fuck, man. We can buy, we can buy some shit, I'm sure. As for us? I expect we should see about finding a monster to slay. If it's not impressive enough, Luis won't look twice at you. If we can get like a level, mm, level 23 dungeon, that'd be great. We can go crazy on the farm and in there. Some postings over there. They should be offering bounties on monsters the guard can't handle. Let's take a look. Why don't we just take them all? Looks like everyone else had the same idea. One of these bounties is bound to make me stand out. But which? Bigger is probably better. Hang on! There's nothing but small-time contracts here. Are you lot here for this tournament, then? Bit slow, I'm afraid. Most of my worthiest monster bills have already been snapped up by other competitors. How about requests on anything aside from monsters? Bounties include criminals too, right? Hmm. I suppose I've got one of those, yeah. Hmm. Oh. Let's see. Well, he's horrible. Heisme. A villainous kidnapper. Looks like the army's been trying to catch him for a while now. Yeah. This might just be perfect. Is there an, is there an option? <laughs> you have any idea who that is? Uh, Toast. That's who he is. By the time I get my hands on him. That man's an elite. An ex-royal knight, they say. He'd make short work of a scrawny little urchin. You can be sure of that. No, I'd wait. Besides, didn't you hear what it is they're actually looking for? Oh, of course. It's about whoever can bring in the biggest monster head, right? If you imbeciles can't even get that straight, you've no chance at winning. They want kingly types, not children play acting. Womp womp, motherfucker, cry Stuck about it. Up, little... Is that the kind of competition we can expect? He was right about the rules, though. 
What are you thinking? Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. We're supposed to get a monster's head. So why are you going for a criminal? Any idea what he's up to? Stop his evil deeds. We don't need... Maybe it's because we don't actually have to win? <laughs> Sharp as always, Captain. Don't worry. I'll explain everything later. They're too busy thinking inside the box, but we're playing 4D chess. As long as you can convince Hulkenberg, I guess. Hello there! Are you really taking the bounty on Heisme? Yeah. You three must be heaven sent. Please, would you listen to our plight? Sure. What's going on? Your Damn. Pardon, gentlemen. It's massive. I'm, I'm sure about his ears. Nasira, a town to the south. The bounty on Heisme is up at my behest. Yeah. A guard captain. This fellow's made some powerful enemies. Indeed, yes. Can he afford lenience? On top of his past crimes, Heisme has stooped to abducting our wee ones. Our children. Selling them off, some say. If our city becomes known for nightly disappearances, what sane resident would stay? Community and trade will dwindle and die. But he's hmm. just a lone kidnapper, right? Even if he's some infamous criminal, why can't the guard handle it? That's the trouble. He makes us hide out somewhere too dangerous for our soldiers to tread. Deep in the territory of vicious giant worms. I just hope the higher level so they can give me good archetype XP and normal XP so we can grind out some more archetype XP items and boost our power even further. We've no idea how he manages to operate out there without getting devoured himself. I see. Tricky problem indeed. I'd no choice but to swallow my pride and post a bounty. Yet no matter how many times I renew the bill, none have taken it. Well, oh, don't worry, we'll take it. A pitiful sight, isn't it? A soldier who can't protect his home, whether by strength or by surrender. Laugh if you must. You're not There's pitiful. pitiful about it. You only cast away your honor in the name of protection. Nothing pitiful in that. Swallow your pride no more, man. We'll take your contract. Ah, thanks to you. That you'd accept such a perilous request, even with this tournament looming over everything. Closure. Thank you all, and thank God for bringing you to me. In that case, we shall meet in Matira, the old castle type. Please, make haste. Why did he call the developer's guard? Well, no backing out of this now. You sure this is what we want? Yes. The way I see it, if we want to make a big impact this late, it's going to take some creativity. Besides, this is apparently a knight-turned-kidnapper. The man can't be allowed to go on. What would his royal highness do in our place? I guess that's fair. I'll convince Hulkenberg. Somehow. You go on and accept the contract. Very well. With my I will do it. And hopefully he'll give us good XP. <laughs> Doesn't mean you're... You actually think we'll put this pin of time off of the throne? Oh, the audacity of youth. <laughs> that's rich. I mere fledgling no history experience to speak of as king. The idea makes me sick to my oh, stomach. The idea that the leader of this country is a dignified man of a great age, one with years of experience, and yet upstart school children like you and Louise dare to. How about you go fuck yourself? Hmph, it hardly matters. You won't be able to fight much longer, so shuck as you'd like. I'll be happy to give Buelge at your funeral. I suppose he's a candidate too. Hey! Hey, would it be alright if you accepted a bounty contract for Hughes May? Hughes May? Sure you can handle that. You can't be held liable if you get. If you get yourself killed out there. Of course I can. You're not one, alright? Either that or you're just green. Head to Matera. You can probably get more information there. Let's focus. Four star, very nice. Increases courage and a hundred thousand reefs. Insane. 
and Taurus criminal tied to a series of kidnappings in Martira, despite his balance, he has evaded capture and his true identity remains a mystery. Let's call it. Okay, we got much contract, let's head back to the inn for now. Maybe there was more shit I could have done there before no doing that, but whatever, man. I'm not too worried. No, indeed. And we found ourselves a perfect target. Fine work. Stroll. See? She's convinced. Nothing to worry about. Don't worry about it. I'll prepare a map of the surrounding areas as well. But never mind that. Have you found us a kingly carriage? Well, I have made some arrangements. How best to put it? The vessel itself is without peer. Supposedly, it will come to us on the day of the opening ceremony. Uh, you don't sound too sure about that. Oh, uh, no, I'm certain. All I mean to say is, well, you shall soon see for yourself. Well, under the circumstances, I'll take what we can get. And setting that up in a day. Not so bad having a knight on our side. <laughs> you needn't speak so. In truth, I've just resigned from the knight's order. Though it is only my bond of service, I relinquish, not my title. We will shortly be seeking Luis's esteem. Should it come to light that I am a knight in active service, it may jeopardize our efforts. Still, you didn't hesitate to leave. I can tell you're serious about this. It was not an abrupt parting. I've come to doubt the Order since returning to find them serving the Santifex and not the Royals. Those who refused the Church's rule were cast out for their defiance. I only hope those fallen knights found useful employ elsewhere. Sounds like you've been through a lot too. Well, in any case, we can focus on our bounty contract now. Let's make sure we get some proper rest tonight. Hmm. <laughs> the opening ceremony for the tournament is tomorrow. Probably stay inside and rest today. I don't really want to though. That's the thing. I kind of just want to head out and do some shit, you know? Oh, what's that? We're running low on milk. Ah, oh, sorry guys, I'll get some milk. Hello. Okay. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I will. Don't push yourself too much. While well, you depart, Mario must miss you. Please come back and say hello. Now then. See the papers is pursuing our issue, but apart from one massive overtuned uncertainty. Hmm. Never mind. Forgive my mutterings. Just do not be surprised no matter what we're presented with. Fancy a bit. One in uh, on this. Oh. Uh didn't mean to click that. Hey. My favorite for the map of Martyrs could be the one from Greece's personal effects. It covers all the main roads. May find one in town, but a military map always has yeah. more details. Fabian continues to be our anchor. To pay her back, let's achieve our goals. I'm assuming we well can't just leave. Eh? I'd really like to, but ha, so they get to then, then you're one of us. But wherever it is that you end up going, be sure to come see you Mario and Fabian again. Not that's really my concern, but those two seem like to like you a lot. Okay. I guess we'll end the YouTube video here. It's a good place as any to end it. Um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, it really helps a lot. And follow me on Twitch would help even more. But with that in mind, see you in the next video. Bye for now.